For decades, archaeologists, anthropologists, and scientists backed the idea that the first settlers arrived on the American continent around 12,000 years ago. A new study, however, has yielded astonishing results, revealing that America was occupied several thousand years before the previous Ice Age, which happened approximately 30,000 years ago. Researchers studying the Pericu, an indigenous group that thrived in Mexico's Baja California Peninsula before disappearing over 200 years ago, uncovered this information. The Pericu are recognized for their maritime culture, gathering fish, shellfish, and marine mammals in the Gulf of California. In another video, we discussed the Yagan tribe of Tierra del Fuego, whose nearest Amerindian ancestors are the extinct Pericu tribe of Baja California and the Lagoa Santa of Brazil. We also noted that the mitochondrial haplogroup D4H3AA has a coastline distribution along the Pacific Ocean from Alaska to California and Tierra de Fuego, which we shall discover later in the video to be crucial to this topic. Anthropologists believe their isolation, along with their so-called primitive customs, suggest they were members of the first wave of settlers in America from the Bering Strait. This enigmatic and vanished tribe is the original indigenous people of southern Baja California, including Cabo San Lucas. They were happily residing on their tribal territories until the first Spanish settlers came in the 1530s. When the Spanish met them, they observed a considerable difference between them and other tribes, including a completely separate language and extremely rapid speaking. Spanish settlers named the tribe Pericus, which translates to parakeets due to their distinct language, culminating in the contemporary name Pericus. The Pericus had a distinct language, but only four words and ten place names survive today. The other tribes in the region referred to them as the Edus, which means people with a different language. Their language is assumed to be similar to that of the adjacent Guaycura tribe. This is based on physical proximity and the fact that the Guaycura's northern neighbors, the Cochimi, referred to both groups as Edus. Early anthropologists thought the Pericu Indians in southern Baja resembled Melanesians and the Lagoa Santa with noteworthy craniums. Another anthropologist asserted in 1889 that some members of the Indian race had arrived in America by sea from Melanesia. In 1909, a study on the Pericus revealed a true blood tie between the Pericus, the inhabitants of Lagoa Santa, and the Melanesians, using statistics, graphic comparisons, tables, and other illustrative material. This Native American tribe lived on the southernmost part of the Baja California Peninsula. It was a dead end, 800 miles from the point where the peninsula meets the mainland, a piece of land surrounded by water on three sides and desert on the other. Their environment was inhospitable, arid, and bereft of resources. They were simple hunter-gatherers, according to Spanish missionaries who came through the area. By the mid-18th century, their numbers had dwindled and been assimilated by other ethnicities. They were hunter-gatherers who relied on both land and sea resources. In warmer weather, they slept on the ground next to a community bonfire, which was kept going by a rotating watch. The Pericus had a great connection for the ocean and were recognized for their exceptional sailing, fishing, and free-diving abilities. They lived off the ocean, hunting and collecting fish, crabs, and marine mammals, as well as seeds, roots, agave, and deer. They were nomadic with holdings extending from Cabo San Lucas to the center of the peninsula, including the islands of Espiritu Santo and San Jose. The Pericu were among the few native communities on the California coast who used wooden rafts with double-bladed paddles instead of tule boats. Fishermen utilized nets, spears or harpoons, darts and bows and arrows to catch fish and meat. Bags, baskets, and gourds were utilized for transportation because pottery was not made. 
Shelter and clothing requirements were limited, yet women wore fiber or animal skin skirts and decorated themselves in a variety of ways. However, only bones, relics, a few of their words and questions survive from their long past. The Pericus history hinges around two key mysteries, their origins, how they arrived, and when. Until recently, it was commonly considered that ancient Siberians traveled to North America via the Bering Strait, but the research of several Periku skulls reveals that these natives were not descended from the Siberians since their skulls are long and thin, whereas the key traits of a Siberian skull are roundness and width. However, Periku skulls are similar to those of Aborigines from Southeast Asia and the Pacific. According to these findings, the Periku tribe may have arrived on America's western coast by canoeing from island to island, arriving from Asia during a period of lower sea levels. Nevertheless, experts believe that this new theory, rather than contradicting the theory about the Bering Strait, supports it. The goal is not to identify a single migratory path that colonized the continent, but rather to determine how many occurred what the route was, how long it took, and which groups participated. As previously noted, study of their skulls revealed that their ancestors are more closely related to ancient tribes from Southern Asia, Australia, and the South Pacific Rim. Evidence also includes very unique cave paintings depicting a serpent with a deer head and a forked tail creeping among people, which experts identified to be related to Aboriginal art seen in North Australia. In fact, over 200 ancient sites and enormous caves containing magnificent rock murals have been discovered across Baja California's desert regions. They are still being investigated to find out what secrets they may have preserved throughout the length of their 30,000-year history. So where did the Pericus come from? Their account will put into doubt the America's founding narrative. It is largely assumed that the settlement of America began when humans traveled on foot from Siberia across the Bering Land Bridge, which had existed between Alaska and Europe since the end of the last Ice Age, around 20,000 years ago. People then steadily traveled south, passing across North and South America. But there is evidence that the Pericus traveled an entirely different route, crossing the ocean in boats from island Southeast Asia and sailed up the coast of Japan 11,000 years ago. So they may be the first humans to settle in Bacha, California and the Americas. For then a century, scientists have believed that Native Americans originated in what is now eastern Russia, China and Mongolia, crossing the Bering Strait via a land bridge some 10,000 years ago, and dispersed throughout the Americas. This is known as the Beringian Migration Theory. However, genetic differences discovered in some human bones indicate that separate, potentially earlier migrations occurred. To put it another way, there is evidence that does not match the mainstream narrative. As a result, an alternative notion has emerged. The earliest Americans landed in the Americas using boats from the Pacific may be as early as 25,000 to 35,000 years ago. As stated, recent DNA studies suggest that the Pericou share genetic heritage with Australian Aborigines. It also explains how their language differs from that of their northern neighbors on the Baja California Peninsula. Nonetheless, very little is absolutely known about the people who lived for millennia in what is now Los Cabos. Scientific findings and excavations have yielded fragmented evidence, as have anecdotal reports from sailors and missionaries. And the only true conclusion is that they lived simply due to both the desert climate and the restricted interaction imposed by geographical isolation. Future research on the Periku tribe will provide a more complete picture of the continent's early people and their lifestyle. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave a comment. We appreciate your support of the channel.